this week's installment of Team Art Club. And it's gonna be really fun. We're gonna make herbal sachets to uh, put in our drawers, to hang in our closets, to make everything smell nice. We're gonna use herbs because I have an herb garden. Also, they smell amazing. And who doesn't love just like a nice, fresh spring scent? Um, so, what I have, I also have parsley, but I'm not gonna use parsley because um, it smells great, but it's not something I want my clothes to smell like. But I have lavender, mint, and basil that I'm going to use today. You can see that my, my basil's been through some stuff. So that's okay though, because many herbs like lavender and basil actually are much more potently scented when they're dry. And since um, my poor basil has got so much sun, it's a little dry already. Um, anywho, what you're gonna need to participate in this is a sachet or sachet or um, a hemp bag, linen bag, cotton, something breathable. If you don't have one, you can make one. You can use some cotton and stitch it together and use some twine or something to tie it shut. I happen to have way too many little bags lying around because I get jewelry in them or cute little things from subscription boxes. So definitely reuse something if you have it. Always fun to reuse things. I'm gonna use this cute little bag I got in my subscription box because it's super cute. Um, and as for what to put in them, this is what I'm using, but you don't have to feel pressured to use the same stuff. You can use like citrus peels, like lemon's an amazing smell, orange, you know, what, what works for you. Um, if floral and herbs aren't really your jam, you can use like cedar chips, there's citronella. Um, you can actually put some flowers in there too, get that, get some rose petals, get a nice floral vibe going. But once you figure out what you wanna put in it, you can either dry your stuff or put it in fresh. And I'm gonna do a little mix because I think it's a little prettier. Um, so I'm going to snag some of my basil and just snip it off and this is the fresher stuff so pretty and just pop it right in the bag and grab some of my lavender this one oops come on as you can see not so pretty um it's a little dried towards the end so that's going to be a lot more scented and then towards the top it's a little fresher which you can't see is the crazy amount of cat hair that's on here because my cat absolutely loves to just rub up against the herbs. So, um, also gonna put some mint in there because mint is probably my favorite smell. Maybe lavender, go back and forth. Um, but just a little bit of mint. I don't know if you know this about mint, but it's an invasive plant, which is why it looks fantastic while the rest of my plants are suffering a little bit from the excessive sun they get in my window. But mint, has invaded my basil and is actually growing better in my basil's pot than my basil. So, fun fact, if you're starting something to grow, mint is a good way to go. It's gonna be a confidence booster because it is not going to die on you most likely. Um, and it will come back. And then it's also a good opportunity if you have an herb garden, do a little deadheading, pull off the dead leaves and put those in there because those are gonna be heavily scented and you're just gonna wanna get as much in there as you want. You can do, you can kind of gauge the smell as you go and get it to a point where it's going to meet your needs and whether you wanna um, have it really heavily scented or just give it a delicate light scent. You can go heavier on some scents than others. I'm gonna put a lot more lavender and basil in there than mint because I like a hint of mint, but I think lavender and basil is a really pretty mix. Some people also use essential oils, so feel free to make it your own and let us know what your favorite mix is. What are your favorite smells? Uh, I know a lot of people say they love the smell of books. I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting book pages in there though. I don't think they have a real active scent on their own. Anyways, so that's what we're gonna make today. Get your little bag all tied up and then you can put it in your, in your drawers, in your closet, in your car, um, anywhere that you'd like to have that nice little scent just freshen everything up. So yeah, there is still time left if you guys want to sign up for summer reading and challenge. You can win some really fun prizes and you can check all that out at tscpl.org slash summer. 
So yeah, I hope you guys try this out and let us know 